Don't forget custom render. Many of you probably already know about the custom render ability in Composer, but for those of you who haven't tried it yet, give it a try. It's a great way to highlight specific parts and really call attention to what you want the viewer to see. Plus, it's a great way to show off. People think you spent hours in Photoshop creating the perfect illustration. Custom render is really simple. First, just choose Custom Render from the Render menu. Next, select the part you want to highlight. Let's say this engine assembly. Now you can change the rendering priority and or the rendering style. If I raise this above zero, it will be visible through anything with a priority of zero or below. However, you still get this nice little ghosting effect that shows the item behind but still visible. If I wanted to bring more internal parts visible, I can raise their priority above the engine. But notice that all the objects are completely opaque where the priority is the same or higher than anything that's behind it. This really gives you a lot of flexibility for creating dynamic illustrations. As I mentioned, you can also change the rendering style. However, the rendering priorities don't blend in an animation. They will change whenever you change them in the timeline. But this can be a great technique to draw attention to a particular part. The rendering style cannot be changed during an animation. So if you have silhouette, it's always going to be silhouette. If you're ever curious about anything that can't be animated, just look at this little red dot. If it's got a little red dot, it can't be animated. But there you go. It's a nice little technique to highlight specific parts and produce cool illustrations.